Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and this is a little demonstration to uh, show you how I check it out. If you are looking at the uh, famous Russian channel markers uh, in the live show I was talking about the Russian channel markers and how I actually find their frequencies by using the uh, EIBI space.de website which has a bunch of them in their frequency list. Uh, you don't see them if you look by time because they are 24 hours, so they're in the first part of the list at 0 to 24. If you want to actually identify if you can hear some uh, and identify which ones they are, so go to the EIBI space.de website and use the uh, frequency list rather than the uh, broadcast list by time. And use the feature, the search feature of your browser, uh, Control F, Command F, depending on a Mac or a PC, and simply type channel space marker. And this will highlight pretty much only the channel markers of Russia. Now, there might be channel markers from other countries that pop up, but you'll see here the channel markers. And of course, you see here it says 108, so I can actually go down and you see all the channel markers. And one of the things that I look at, okay, because once again, these are abbreviations, uh, is, so this is RUS, it means comes from Russia, channel marker L, that means the letter you'll hear if you hear it is L, being sent in Morse code continuously. Um, and here is the target area, here it says RUS for Russia. But if you go down, you'll see some are CAS Central Asia, or Asia, or so on. And some are for Europe. Uh, for example, let's try to find one here for, uh, here we go, EEU, which is Eastern Europe here. So I try to choose the ones that are the most um, possible, you know, uh, targets for me. So, of course, one that is sending to Asia will be more difficult for me here in Montreal, in, in North America, uh, East Coast, than one sent to Europe, for example. So I look at that to try to, um, you know, find which ones. And if you want to try or if you want to hear them, uh, because you don't hear them on your radio at home, and by the way, you can hear them and, uh, if you if you are patient. Um, I've heard several of them here in Montreal, uh, which is far from Russia. And um, that means that they sometimes propagate. But they are low-powered, so they're more difficult to, to, to hear than regular broadcast, that's for sure. Once again, they send, you know, one letter Morse code. It's actually a cool way to also kind of brush up slowly on your Morse code. Remember that the frequency displayed here, if you don't have a CW mode on your radio, you can use USB. And what you do is you just tune one kilohertz lower. So, for example, if it says, oh, there's one channel marker here, for example, on 3594 kilohertz, if you have CW mode, you put it in CW. But if you have a radio with USB, you can actually tune 3593 upper sideband to have the tone of the CW. If you don't have separate uh, upper lower sideband, you can tune 3594, but just use the BFO or tone control on the uh, on the radio to simply go and get the, the tone for the Morse code signal. So it's a cool thing to do, and it's uh, there's a lot of these channel markers. As you see here, it says 108. So there's a lot of channel markers from uh, Russia uh, on the different frequency ranges. If you look here, uh, they go all the way up to here 7 megahertz. There's some in 8 megahertz, 10 megahertz, 13, 16. So you can hear some up to 20 megahertz. So uh, the last one here, it was 20... 048.4. So there's a, a selection of Morse code beacons that you can try. And if you don't hear them, use Kiwi SDRs that are in Europe. You'll hear some uh, through there. Or the, the University of 20 SDR online is also a great uh, receiver to test out if you can hear some of these channel markers. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.